2019 has now passed, and we're going to talk about what we thought were the best movies, the worst movies, and some honorable mentions that we'll suggest to you guys and each other because we have not watched like all the movies. Right. So let's go ahead and go around the table. There's five of us right now. And I think I heard one of you guys mention this, but I do think it's one of my favorite movies, Parasite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah, that, that movie was like one of my favorite movies just because I didn't know what I was getting into. I think we talked about it while we were hanging out and you said yeah, it was good. Yeah. And you didn't spoil a single thing. And I never watched a single trailer. Right. So like mm -hmm. I watched it and I was like, what is this movie? Right. <laughs> and then it just gets better and better and better as it goes. Yeah. The best thing, way to watch that movie is without any like spoiler or anything. You just go into it fresh. So mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So that would be my pick. Mm -hmm. I don't want to like spoil anything for anyone because it's such a great movie. I haven't watched it. So don't spoil yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There, there will be, we will try our best not to spoil a single thing. So this is just a list and, you know, mm -hmm. our opinions. Go ahead, Juku. Well, thank God I'm next. So I can <laughs> figure I can pick this as for best movie. So I'm going to have to pick this big one. Everyone knows what it is. It has a clown in it. Joker. Uh -huh. So, I mean. I thought you were going to say It Chapter 2. It's oh, I definitely was going to say it. You know, it was hard because you were both clowns. But one really has to deal with depression. The other one has to deal with depression and being Gotham. So, <laughs> what is significantly better? Right. What's well, significantly better? But yeah, this movie, like, I mean, when I saw the trailers, I was already interested in it because it was just a different type of DC movie. And then it just, yeah, I mean, it got a billion dollars, and it's, <laughs> it's about a clown versus Avengers, which it took a while to get a bit billion dollars. So mm -hmm. that 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 alone tells they you they didn't how have a clown on their team. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, Joker was definitely a high point of this year. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm happy, and this gives DC us DC fans a hope for <laughs> the future. Yes. For the DC yeah, movies. very yeah. good storyline. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So yeah, that's good. So I think for my personal favorite, um, just so that we don't repeat, I love all the movies that have been thrown out there already. But for the sake of this list, I will say that my best movie for 2019 was John Wick Chapter 3. Mm -hmm. I think that okay. <laughs> that one was just, I, I had so much fun watching that movie with the action and, oh man, the it was just great. And seeing like Keanu Reeves doing all that, that fighting, it was, it was a fun, fun uh, adrenaline rush ride. I saw it multiple times. I was excited every time. <laughs> yeah, that movie. I mean, I kind of have a, so I kind of am a little bit like kind of afraid of dogs a little bit, but that movie made me even more afraid of yeah. dogs. <laughs> <laughs> it made me afraid of horses. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was amazing, oh. though. It was, it was just all action. That's what anybody could hope for. Exactly. Yeah. Mm, I, these are all really good movies that I could talk about at length as well. Um, but I guess I'm going to talk about a movie that kind of really surprised me by how good it was, especially since I saw the trailer and like I was like, oh, that movie looks like it's trash. But it was good. Um, and it was Knives Out, by, you know, directed by Ryan Johnson, which like, you know, that was another reason where I was like, oh, I'm not going to watch that <laughs> after like, <laughs> The Last Jedi. But um, it was really good. I really like the ensemble cast. Like there's a lot of characters, like every single character shined for like a small moment of the film and they all connected to each other. And it's like, you know, one of my other favorite movies was just like Clue, but with like a modern twist. Mm -hmm. um, the dialogue was good. A lot of good character actors. I love when people can kind of be something that you've never seen them be in a movie successfully. And I think that's just like good directing and storytelling. So. It's called Knives Out? It's called Knives Out. Mm -hmm. Okay, like like knives, like he stabs like someone? Knives? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. There, I'm going to put that on knives. my list yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'll probably check that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a the way you one. made it's it a, sound, it sounds great. It's a whodunit and it's, <laughs> yeah. and it's funny and it's modern. Surprisingly, yeah. I think this year there were a lot of like whodunit uh, movies that came out. Yeah. Like there was one in a train. I forgot what it was called. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. There, there were like something express. Oh, and then the one on Netflix with Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston. Oh, geez. And it was like murder mystery. <laughs> it was literally called murder mystery. <laughs> yeah, a lot yeah. of people like that one for some reason. But I, I think it was I cute. I haven't watched it yet. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to go a little bit off um, our movie thing here. And it wasn't a movie that was released in theaters, but it was released on Netflix. And um, a lot of comedies don't get like great, like, I guess, percentages or scores or oh, whatnot. And <laughs> my favorite one would be Always Be My Maybe. Oh. And yes. I 
I think <laughs> beginning to end, it was very good. And it had good character development. And they threw in like some nostalgia in there with like um, the San Francisco architecture and mm. the dim sum place. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was really cute. And the whole like Keanu Reeves like snippet was just it made it over the top. Oh, yeah. That and was brilliant. It was. <laughs> yeah. Because you don't get to see Keanu Reeves act like a fool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that's not his character. Yeah, that was my favorite part of the movie. Yeah, and it was so great to watch it. And and I think at least for comedy movies, yeah. that's probably the best one for two, 2019. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay, something to note about like our choices. This is like all individual. So mm. like we're going to miss like some of the biggest movies because like it's all like our personal top picks. Um, but we'll mention like a lot of the other ones in the honorable mentions and like suggestions. But we're going to go ahead and move on to um, the worst <laughs> of 2019. <laughs> and I'll start us off with uh, X-Men Dark Phoenix. Oh, man. <laughs> like when I watched that movie, I pretty much was bored out of my mind throughout mm. the like all of it. Um, none of it had any impact on me. Some of the action scenes were okay, but like it just... I don't know. It just fell flat. It was like the boringest X Men movie I've ever watched. So, but uh, like I said, I'm not going to spoil anything, but I just didn't like that movie at all. Yeah. I feel like a lot of important moments happened in that film, but you don't care at that point. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Did that come after the Wolverine movie? Yeah. 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 You Wolverine. can't follow that up <laughs> with, yeah. with that. It, yeah. yeah. But it, nobody sees it as like a follow up. It's, yeah. yeah. it's not a direct follow up. But yeah, no, I. I and never even watched it just because. <laughs> no, yeah. like, not, you don't even need to. Yeah. Like, it's, it's not to bad. mention, it's supposed to be the end of the That's, Fox X Men. Right. That's so, sad. It started off so beautifully, too. Yeah. Although there is the still a way. Fox X Men movie that has not been released. Interestingly okay. enough, it's um New Mutants. Mm. It was shot. That's the one I was just talking about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was shot and everything. It just hasn't been released, and it's yeah. been on a shelf and. Now Disney has it. I don't know what they're gonna do with it. Interesting. It has Anya Taylor Joy. It has Hopefully make it better. Arya Stark. It has Arya Stark in it. <laughs> no way. It's, yeah. As like yeah. and Charlie Heaton from Stranger from Things. From Stranger Things, yes. Oh Which wow. Is, I mean, it's a fully like that's a full movie. cast. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll see. I yeah. mean, even Dark Phoenix had a still a good ensemble, but yeah. But yeah, yeah, that's a that's a good choice for worst. I digress. <laughs> Yeah. All right, Chuku. Uh, my worst m- movie. I mean, it's not as bad as your movie, but what's worse <laughs> for me was uh, The Lion King, the 2019 mm-hmm. version. Interesting. I just. I, I, I haven't seen it. I I I mean, it just is not as great as the original. It doesn't have the what's it called the animations because it's it supposed to be. Spirit. This is gonna divide people. I, that, yeah, that was. Yeah, my biggest gripe with that is just like. It's not fun because like the animals' faces are just like always the same exactly. expression. It was too Animal <laughs> Planet. Like, like exactly. it was so realistic. It's like he's singing like I just can't wait to be king, yeah, and exactly. he looks like so serious. Like <laughs> <laughs> not to mention, I don't know. I just didn't feel like uh, Donald Glover much as I like him. I didn't feel like he fit for being Simba just because it just sounded like to me, especially with uh, Beyonce playing Nola. Same. It's like she. You have this woman who has a strong voice, but you have this like kind of gay best friend voice like so no. that's that's kind of what i got from it I was just, uh, to be honest i watched that movie because i was on a date but there's a reason why i'm not with that date anymore oh, <laughs> so, don't, don't blame the lion king so, i'm just kidding you can blame yeah i mean it just it shows the taste so um but yeah so i didn't really like that movie so okay. that's I, fair enough I'll yeah <laughs> um okay so for me my choice um i i Try not to watch bad movies as a rule, but I did watch a movie that I disliked. Was uh, it was Captain Marvel? <laughs> <laughs> I respect that too. Yeah, um, I just it, it felt it just felt like it wasn't it didn't need to be a movie. Like it, it felt weird that we were giving like this solo female lead movie to a random superhero when we've had like female superheroes in the Marvel Universe, so it seemed unnecessary from the start. And then watching it just didn't really make a lot of sense to me. Yeah. And Agreed. I didn't really, I didn't enjoy it. I think they had to do it, though. They had to for Avengers Endgame because she was like a main part of it. But I don't, I, mean, I wouldn't say she main. Didn't, she, yeah. she was, she had a she, big moment. She had, a, she had yeah. a moment, which I feel like they could have 
figure out a different way. Like she didn't have the moment though. I think they had to do it moment. because they needed to introduce her as like a character. Mm-hmm. Otherwise everybody's going to be like, who is she? They had to do it because they needed a response to Wonder Woman. Yeah, I, mean, I think that's, that's what it was. That too. I think that's what it was. I don't, but they shoehorned it a super OP character they, that's, in. That's, that's what it. I don't like. That's yeah. it. That's yeah. why I hate it. It's because they, it was literally like the definition of shoehorning in a character right, right. into this already mm-hmm. created story that they that they just didn't. I mean, that's a good point. With even the already established despite all like hear. what we're saying right now, I still think that if they made a good movie, then mm-hmm. we would have accepted then it we way better. Yes, yeah. Yeah. yes. So it was boring. Yeah, it was boring. So I don't, I don't think that it's necessarily like. Because they shoe- shoehorned it, it, it was a bad thing. It was just, it was they made a bad movie. Bad yeah. movie. And then that made us not really care about her. Yeah. Brie so, Larson also, I don't so know, yeah, performance, she just, just seemed really uninspired yeah, to exactly. the whole time. She seemed yeah. bored. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Crystal? Um, Those were all good choices. Um, But <laughs> one that was just like so bad that like no one even like talks about it or didn't get that much attention was, I guess, Godzilla, King of Monsters. Oh, I okay. like big monsters. I like <laughs> monster fights. And like the last couple of Godzillas, especially this last one, hasn't been that. It's like, it's really annoying to go in there and then you see like two big monsters fight. And there's a bunch of them too because they have like Mothra, they have like Ghidorah. And then it's like, they start fighting. You get like two seconds of fighting and then the scene cuts to like some Ooh. other thing that's going on where did it's they like that again? I remember that they was did a frustrating it again, where it's thing like, the first Godzilla it's movie. like they're like <laughs> they keep trying where's to Millie it? Bobby Brown and it's like I don't care like Mothra's about to get the wings torn off of her oh, and it's like you know yeah, I don't that know that's a big complaint for the first Godzilla movie I didn't see this one it's but annoying and also the neither. protagonist I don't know who the protagonist is because the main character is like kind of like does like really deplorable things where it's like we should we be on her side like she kind of like caused all this like mayhem and destruction to happen like i just don't mm. understand what her motivations were you mm. know and i don't know anyone i don't remember any other names do, like i just don't <laughs> do you guys like the uh the old godzilla one the, the old godzilla uh, movie? which one there were so many oh you mean yeah. the one with like matthew broderick from like 1999 yeah i i i think so yeah as a I, kid i, I loved it i, I think it's fun kid, yeah. <laughs> it's fun because, the one with with it's... a whole bunch of eggs yeah it's just mm. tripsing through new york city like i know yeah. it wasn't a great movie but or it was the godzilla fun to watch. animation i think they have that too do they Dang, yeah they do one. have an animation but i i like the uh if if it's the right one i like that one a lot because i watched it as a kid and i was like oh yeah, this is awesome that <laughs> one's cool because it's like it had some good scenes where it's like you haven't seen godzilla yet and then like mm-hmm. comes and destroys the dock and it's like swimming up yeah, this one, it didn't have a lot of moments like that um, where it showed how, like, epic the monsters were. And, like, right. I like the monsters. Like, they had personalities, but then it's, like, when they started fighting, it was just we didn't get enough screen time of that. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Okay. Well, I would say um, my worst movie of 2019 is Hellboy. <laughs> and I don't think anybody here has watched it, but yeah. it is no. a shitty movie. <laughs> <laughs> The CGI is terrible, and then the character development is also terrible. And I have to be honest, like, I fast forwarded through the whole movie. Uh. It was so bad. Like, the plot, there was like a lot of plot holes, and oh, wow. the acting was bad. They had um, the, gr- the main character from Resident Evil, um, she was a part of it as well, and she was like one of the antagonists for Hellboy and trying to get him to like the evil side. But it was just like, it was so bad because. She she's trying to get him to get onto her side, but he's like fighting with himself and mm. um and his dad. Like I don't know if you guys know, but like his dad died mm. and um and she was like using that against him, but then the way that the her her script was written, it was like poetic, but like bad poem <laughs> like, i don't know how to explain it like every time she talked it like rhymed but also Ew. it was bad <laughs> yeah like they were trying to bring like i guess like old english mm. into it oh, oh really yeah like the riddler <laughs> it wasn't good i suggest not to do it and they had they did introduce a few new characters um it was like this girl that can when she touches the dead or something like yeah. the dead pops out of her mouth and and like like they can speak a from zombie her. Comes out of her mouth. 
Pretty much. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Wait, that's but like cool. it's, it's like that's connected cool. to her still like a worm. Yeah. Oh, um, <laughs> but they're speaking from her mouth. So literally the whole time she's like open mouth and like oh. staring up in the air and the dead person's like gotcha. through her Who mouth. Proved that. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't want to get into too many spoilers. But... It's worth these. Well, there you go. <laughs> I don't think it's a spoiler cuz I'm sure no one will watch it. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. I mean like I think I can't remember, but I remember when I watched it as a kid, Hellboy was, yes. it seemed entertaining. Hellboy, honestly, all the other Hellboys were really yeah. good. This one did not do That's Hellboy other, any justice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the other annoying thing, because it's like, we already have like a really cool Hellboy that we got with like Guillermo del Toro. And this was like kind of an unnecessary reboot. These were all reboots, weren't they? Or who didn't have a reboot as their Guess one? what rating it got, like at least for critics, cause critics it was like 17%. It was, it was gonna guess very like bad. 13. Wow. Tomatoes? Or what? Rotten Tomatoes, <laughs> yeah. Was your, what was yours? Oh, she, uh, Captain Marvel. What was yours? Oh, uh, mine? Yeah. Um, Dark Phoenix. Okay. Yeah, at least three out of five were reboots. So that That's just true. shows that, I don't know if reboots is always Statistically, the way to go. maybe no yeah. more Maybe reboots. they suck. Yeah, so it was, yeah, Hellboy, and then mine, which was Godzilla. I uh, consider it a reboot, and then... Lion King. Lion King. Yeah. Also a reboot. Suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't blame it. But I mean, I Aladdin was a close call for me. That, that could Aladdin was also one. bad. That, yeah. That's one it of the was. honorable mentions for bad ones. <laughs> <laughs> any any other honorable mentions for bad ones? Midsommar. That's going to divide uh, people for sure. That's that's a divisive one. I think visually it's a cool movie, but visually, yes. yeah, I, yeah. I think everyone was expecting like it's one of those things where like it kind of like subverts your expectations because it's like you know he did hereditary which was like a great scary film and you're expecting some crazy like thriller type thing to happen and it like oh, yeah. never happened well i think that i don't are you guys planning on watching it Midsommar? Midsommar. Uh, i don't want to spoil not it really i don't i don't really like after hereditary i really don't want like the worst <laughs> part <laughs> like the part that i didn't hate it off I just, from that movie you know. was like the whole orgy thing and then they there were like an orgy it's not an orgy. <laughs> it was like one person, like there, no, there was, it was one couple yeah. having sex, and the weirdest thing is like every time he would like thrust into her, there are people watching, and they would sing. They would like coll- no, 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 like <laughs> they would sing. <laughs> they like they collectively like moaned. Yeah, they they all collectively moaned, oh, but it God. sounded like a song. Like it was so bad, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I, yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty like bold thing to make your viewers watch that. Like that, and I swear to God, it was at least like five minutes screen time. It's like, a long scene. It's so uncomfortable. Uh, they were really, It was like beginning to finish. Like. They were like, "How much stupid stuff could we put in?" <laughs> I would still recommend like you watch it because it's like it all kind of connects to like the overall theme, which is like this girl at first was like alone, and then like she goes into this community, which is like kind of fucked up but it's like they kind of the, the, the biggest thing was like they shared traumas and they shared like every experience so she like finally kind of gets like a semblance of a family again it was but just yeah. bad experience like from beginning to end. like bad it's bad decisions to, made it. it's hard bad to watch it's like made. it's purpose i mean i think they just purposely like wanted to make you feel uncomfortable yeah. ari aster I see. <laughs> well it wasn't yeah. even like a family that she went to it was a cult Okay, yeah. that makes so, sense. What, what's, I get it. what's it called again? Midsommar. 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 So like those... she made like you could tell from the beginning it's a cult because they dress a certain way, yeah. they do things a certain way. Yeah. Like so I feel like at that point you should just get the fuck out of there. Did she I like, like the tension that was built, but like you're right, like the ending it was like, oh really? Like that's yeah. how it ends. Huh. Was she like tricked into it? It was like, wait, this is a cult. No, <laughs> I mean at the end, I mean they didn't she know what they were there. She stayed there. She stayed there. She stayed there. I mean, she killed off everybody none else. Of, spoilers. None yeah. of them. Spoilers. Yeah, none of them knew what they were getting into. It's. She didn't kill. You, you have to watch it. She yeah, didn't she, didn't, well, she didn't kill them. She killed one of them. Well, she well killed let's them. avoid spoilers. Okay. Yeah. Um. <laughs> All right. So let's just finish this off with. Yeah. It doesn't have to be in sequence this time, but any, any uh, movies that we th- want honorable to suggest mention? to you guys or honorable mentions. Um, I think Battle Angel Alita. Yeah, that, that was Alita. surprisingly yeah. fun to watch. Yeah, that was definitely enjoyable. for any horror fans. Yeah. Um, the Lighthouse was really good. Just for, I mean, there's only two people in that movie, but Willem Dafoe and like Robert Pattinson are so good together, and they're speaking old English, but it's like, it's still like. Just really riveting the to watch lighthouse? them together. Yeah, and it's yeah, the ending gets kind of like weird and scary, and it's okay. it's the tension builds. You they said get, it's a horror movie. Yeah, kind of. It's more of a thriller. It's not thriller. like too scary. It's okay, more okay, like yeah. just tension builds. They're getting like cabin fever because they're like the only people that yeah, are yeah. like stuck 
maintaining this lighthouse. So is, it's, is this just it's sort in of black like and a, white. It's pretty. It's pretty interesting to thriller, watch. Thriller like Shutter Island thriller or um Ooh, no Shutter Island was so good. It has some trippy, scary visuals, mm-hmm. but it's not like Shutter Shutter Island. Okay. Um, you'll just have to see. It's just a lot of like you know, psychological kind of like horror in it. Um, you know, like the main character has like dreams. Um, but like the I think you're just gonna like the just the dialogue and like the back and forth between mm-hmm. Willem Dafoe and Robert Pattinson. There's like funny moments in it too. Like I, I just got kind of reminded how talented Robert Pattinson is. He's having <laughs> like a moment now. Whereas before he was just like, you know, and he was trying twilight. to get out of that yeah. twilight. But like, but now, thing. like, yeah, he's really good. And Willem Dafoe is just like a salt. He's always solid. Like he's like just this like crotchety old man, sea man. And it's 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 a fun one to watch. Nice. I yeah, recommend speaking, it. Speaking about horror, I think Us was another good one. I yes, that. definitely. Yeah. That was just very. I mean, I don't want to spoil it, but it was just there's a lot of twists. Um, it was very well done. That well was done. another like cultural phenomenon. Yeah. yeah. Besides Joker, a lot of people saw us, and a lot of people like. Even it. after it ended, I I had to look up like yeah, exactly. more analysis. Like, like I analysis. wanted to know more. Yeah. yeah. So now, I definitely think it's yeah. good. Wait, now so, Jordan Peele is like I feel like among the ranks of like horror directors now at this yeah. point. So us is a horror movie. Thriller. Horror, thriller. Thriller. It's not really horror. It's it's more thriller. More thriller. Okay. More thriller. I mean that scares me. Imagine like you know. Like, no, will, I don't want spoilers. Will, will but... I be scared if I watch it at night by myself? Probably. That's a little oh. bit, especially at the end, because it'll make you think. It'll Even at the beginning, with, yeah. that, with the house. The answer's like, yes. Yeah. Maybe when you <laughs> like. The answer's yes. The answer's yeah. yes. Because yeah. yeah. you don't know what's going to happen. Maybe be yeah. like, alone by yourself, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you want. You want that tension. You want, like, in a, gotcha. in a scary movie. That's what you, you need. to find a friend to watch. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I like horror, because it's like a. If you're like a roller coaster fan, it's like, you know, you have all this tension, and then afterwards, it's like. You feel good. You did it. You went through it, and it's just like relief. I can't watch like demonic things though. That just that's why like I hated hereditary. hereditary. <laughs> this is like yeah. too much. But or, um, for me, it'd be disturbing things like anything that's too disturbing. Mm. Mm. Okay. That's good, though, right? Like I could do gory thriller, like anything like that, but just anything demonic, I because it's like yeah. conjures from my mind. Same. Um, I guess for me, it'd be sci-fi horror. Like if I see something like like. Bellies twisting oh, and all that stuff. Like I could do that. Out stuff, I'd actually just, prefer that. Yeah, <laughs> that the whole, the whole demon nice. thing is very scary to me. Mm-hmm. Like uh, Annabelle was pretty scary in my Annabelle. Movie. Actually, it Same. wasn't too bad. I didn't too. The yeah. reason why it sucks for me though is like I don't know if you guys ever experienced it. Like scissor lock, I've had that happen, and it, that's a whole another oh, tangent. The, but it's like when you wake up in the middle of the night paralysis. and you can't oh, move, yeah, yeah, but yeah. you can only move your eyes. Yeah, yeah, I've had. I've had that plenty of Fun times. Fun time. I get anyway. that. <laughs> yeah, anyway, um. just uh, don't sleep on your back. That's a that's the biggest tip I can do, say. Yeah. I, I don't sleep on, I used to get it a lot, but like I trained myself not to sleep on my back and I was like, oh, I think I'm good. Recently, I just, I like fell asleep. Like, I don't know, I was on my phone or something and like, I like got sleep paralysis because I was like sleeping oh, on my back. Oh, dang, I don't know, something about it makes you feel like you're awake when mm-hmm. you're doing that. Yeah. I don't know. We, that's another anyway, topic. Yeah, <laughs> another topic. I will suggest um, for anybody who hasn't seen it. Oh, def- I'll, okay. So I'll go back to Parasite. Yeah, if anybody hasn't seen it, I don't know if a lot of people have, but yeah, yeah. for sure, watch Parasite. Um, yeah. it's a Korean film, so it's uh, subtitled if you don't speak Korean. But it's definitely something that everyone should watch. Is it a thriller? It's a thriller. Okay, okay. I would say so. Yeah. It's but it's like it's its own. Thing. like honestly yeah. and that's like so cool to say that because it's just such a unique film with like a unique story but it does have thriller elements mm-hmm. in yeah, it yeah the, the less you know about it before you watch it the better right so, so don't has, look up stuff yeah, if you are just interested. just check yeah. it out it has like thriller you, elements right, um, the, yeah. the score is so good too i listen to the score on spotify all the time because it's so so nice and it's it's surprisingly like funny too like it's like funnier than you expect it to be yeah and then this, the cast is really good. And like you were gonna say something else, yeah. I see. Yes. So also another movie is Ford v Ferrari. I Ooh. watched that one, and it was very enjoyable. I liked it a lot. It was um, it was just a great like. It was a great like like brotherly bond movie type. Um, yeah, type I'll second that. It. I'll yeah. second that. And it was, so it was, it was really a good experience to watch that one. It's also like historical like. Um, historical cars. setting mm. with like cars if yeah. that's what you're interested in but just as a story it's it's great and the one last one that i'll suggest is the king on netflix 
I really enjoyed that. I'm not a Timothy Chalamet fan, but this one, this movie. <laughs> Wait, why do you say that? Just I don't know. He kind of annoys me sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of annoys me sometimes. But um, he was really good in this movie. Um, it's a, uh, it's uh and I, I like a, I'm like a Shakespeare. Like I like Shakespeare stuff. So this is King Henry the Fifth. Um, and so watching just like it's, it's not like exactly like Shakespeare's thing, but it's like mm-hmm. just a. The whole like world and the way that the the language that they use, all of that was really cool to watch. The action is good too, so mm-hmm. that's a that's a good one. Can yeah. I recommend something? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm like I'm not critical of movies, but like you know, I there's always like parts in films where I'm like, oh, that kind of dragged, and like I feel like some of the ones that we've been talking about and recommending are like perfect films. Like I think Parasite is perfect, and like um. Another one, it's like one of the only indie ones I watched this year was uh, Peanut Butter Falcon mm. uh, with Shia LaBeouf in it. It's like, you think it's going to be kind of like a sensitive topic or like maybe like a bummer, but it's actually like a really feel good film. It's like one of the most genuine performances by Shia LaBeouf that I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, like I've never been like a Shia LaBeouf fan, but this movie almost made me want to like go back and like look at all of his work because it's, you know, the setting, it's like in, in the, the South. And then, like, you don't think you're going to connect to it, but you do. You connect with, like, the main two characters. You know, they come together all by, like, accident. But then Is they it the one where really he plays his dad? Other. No, that one's Honey okay. Boy. This oh, one is right. the one where um, he meets, like, this, like, person with Down syndrome. Mm. And then they're kind of on the run um, for different reasons. But they end up, like, connecting. And then you find out, like, um, the person with Down syndrome, his dream is like to become like a wrestler, and then they kind oh, of like go yeah. on like an adventure right. to kind of like find someone to train him. But what's, it's, it's, what's it's really it called? good. Peanut butter falcon. Peanut butter um, falcon. Yeah, okay. good performances all around, and uh, it's like a it's a feel good film. It's yeah. really good. I, I, I like uh, that you guys are mentioning like movies that aren't like largely known. I guess at mm-hmm. least to me, I, I don't know these movies that you guys are talking about, so it's it's great to hear them as suggestions. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, I do have a few honorable mentions but it's i'll limit it to three and the first one is the good boys i don't know if you guys watched it. it's also another comedic movie it's um it's like you're, oh, you're following oh, yeah you're following like three yeah. sixth graders pretty much and yeah, they're going yeah, through yeah. like puberty and whatnot and they get their hands on some drugs and it was from their next door neighbor and they're just you're just following their journey and it's it's really funny i definitely recommend that one and then the last two would be queen and slim and then jumanji i think for jumanji they can definitely make it like a fast and furious franchise where they just keep i haven't watched that i haven't watched it yet (laughs) and i just watched the first one recently and i was just like pleasantly pleasantly surprised surprised. yeah Yeah. i miss jack black (laughs) i mean it had its moments where maybe like it was way too corny or they like did too much of the certain things but i would say overall it's good you think the second one's better no, no, <laughs> no. I'll still watch it. I've only seen the Robin Williams one, so I need oh, to get in on that. that one, you can't top that one. <laughs> They're totally different. This is yeah. a, this is yeah. for sure like a reboot. Um, I will say that we are uh, recording this on the twenty fourth of December, mm-hmm. and so nineteen seventeen is a movie that I've been anticipating for a while that hasn't come out mm-hmm. yet. It comes out tomorrow, so I. I can't speak on that one yet, but from what I've heard, as far as people who have seen it early, um, it's a very, very good movie. So I can't yeah. wait to see it either. Yeah, Would we'll check it on- out together then. Yeah, let's do yeah. it. That sounds or, like, good. Honorable mention: terrible uh, <laughs> cats. <laughs> honorable cats. mention: terrible I didn't cats. Watch it. Yeah, yeah. The, I mean, I get so much delight from like reading the reviews. I know cats. <laughs> cats, so bad. cats is like one of the biggest, like, bro- or one of the longest running Broadway productions ever, and then just the film adaptation just seems like a train wreck and like terrible. Mm. Everyone keeps saying the same thing. It's like, so bad that they have to re-edit it and then first time redistribute. Film, yeah, yeah, first time in history that they're doing that. That they're yeah. gonna do like an updated version for wide release, <laughs> and uh, just because the CG. It like, got the same score as Hellboy. I'm hearing that the CG is <laughs> bad. <laughs> the cats are just uncomfortably all horny all the time. Oh. Oh, man. And like the songs, oh. it's like um, Les Mis, where like the whole thing is a song. There's no dialogue, so you have cats. to just sit through it. It's just like slow. I it's liked Les slow. Mis. Yeah. Les yeah. Mis is, was good, but this is. But not this seems like it's cats. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but I'm still. I mean, I kind of want to watch it still. And it's sad because it's like a full like A list cast. 
Yeah, really? the ensemble. Yeah, it has um, like Ian McKellen. It has Taylor Swift mm-hmm. and Rebel Wilson, Wilson. James um, Corden. Mm-hmm. Who's Professor McGonagall? Uh, Professor McGonagall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> Judy yeah. Dench is in that. Isn't it right, Judy Dench? I don't know. So, oh, I thought people. it was a Judy Dench or was it Professor yeah. McGonagall? Lady? I think it's Judy Dench. But oh, I then it's a Judy wrong. Dench. I didn't actually. Watch That's it. even worse. Yeah. <laughs> it's Judy Dench in there. Jennifer Hudson. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think for me, the last movie I would recommend for uh, honorable mentions would be The Marriage Story. I just thought Ooh. it was a really good, like, mm-hmm. again, I never thought of Adam Driver as much of an actor, especially because I'm used to him in Star Wars. Really? But this mm-hmm. was a really good, like, his performance was really, like, I would say Oscar worthy performance yeah. in it. His was a standout in it, I think. Yeah. He He's was making a, a stand. He was in a movie called Silence a couple years back, which was amazing. Okay. So. He's he has some acting chops for sure. Okay. Yeah. What's the movie called again? Marriage Story. It's on Netflix. Marriage Story. I what? think the I thing know. with Netflix too is that a lot of the actors and actresses they don't have that pressure to bring in like, um, like box office money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that they can like be more comfortable in acting and yeah. they could probably put in more of their creative output. Yes. For Netflix. Um. One last, like as far as the Netflix movies, one last one that I'll mention is Dolomite is my name. Oh. That yeah. one was Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. Mm-hmm. Eddie Murphy is like back in his acting, um, on his acting path right now. And so that movie was really just like, it was really inspiring to watch because. It's basically about the story of this guy who is shut out of the industry at his time. And he's just like, you know what? I'm going to do it myself. And he grinds until he gets what he wants. Damn. Yeah, that yeah. sounds inspirational. Wow. That yeah. does sound very inspirational. Mm-hmm. Let's do that one next. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right. Well, that was a pretty large list of yeah. suggestions. Yes. Of honorable mentions. <laughs> There's too many to pick just one. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, if you can get a couple of these in, that'll be a, that'll be a good representation of the movie. Or, or get all of them. Or, <laughs> get, uh, get all, all of them. Yeah, yeah agreed. <laughs> 